Hello everyone, One Megalomaniac here. Today, we will be getting out of Picara. Um, I remember telling you about my Crohn's disease, I'm going to save that for resistance. I'm actually going to do uh, tell the entire story of Picara because Picara is actually bigger than resistance, I forgot, but resistance is cooler, in my opinion. But, you know, we are all entitled to our own opinions. So this is kind of like a, just a, a watch and, and listen to the story kind of thing. You can listen to the story more than watch it, or vice versa, you can mute me. But, um, to refresh your memory, Crohn's disease is a gastrointestinal problem where your small intestines or large intestines are fighting themselves. Uh, it's an autoimmune, autoimmune deficiency. Uh, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the scientific, or medical, I should say, name of it is. So the story is... I woke up one morning, um, uh, and I was like, I was like actually trying to go for a perfect attendance in school, and it was like the not the very end of the school year, but it was very close to the end. It was like April, it was very beginning of April, and school ended in the beginning of June. And I woke up and I was I was just like in so much pain, in an area where I usually don't get pain. I mean, I, I get a lot of pains in my stomach, but this was definitely not my stomach. So I unfortunately had to stay home that day because if I got up, I would faint or I would like want to vomit, but I couldn't for some reason because that the nausea pain was not where uh, nausea usually is, like I said. Um, so a um, couple weeks pass. I think we're now at the end of April, and I get it again on Easter, Easter morning. And, like, I'm just, like, it, it didn't last that long. The one on the 3rd, I think it was, was the beginning of April, uh, lasted the entire day. That's why I had to stay home, because I thought I was just going to have, like, for five minutes, and then when I ate, I'd feel better. But I that wasn't the case. Um, so, on Easter, um, man, I keep falling through this barrier. What's going on here? It's never usually here. Alright, so Easter was a very short one, then a couple days afterwards, I was actually going to a concert. I was seeing a band called Chevelle, and they are my favorite band. If uh, you guys never heard of them, check them out. They are... Shout out to them. They're awesome. Um, so I went to one of their concerts one night, and I was like, I was getting all these attacks during the day. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it, but I, I did tough it out. I went, uh, I was <laughs> I actually had a few attacks when I was there. Um, but the uh, but I got through it. So now um, we're in. Wow! I can't get past this part. I'll just go through a different part. Um, so now we're in um, May. May, I believe it's probably the mid-May. I think I think it was the day after Mother's Day. I got another attack, and the day after that, I got another attack. The day after that, another attack. These attacks would not stop. They would just keep on going. Um, all day, I'd get like seven or eight attacks. I'd always be in bed. I, some days were worse, definitely worse than others. There's like very rare days where I didn't have any. So, um, probably about three weeks after continuously getting them, um, I went to like so many doctors just to get to a GI specialist, for a pediatric GI specialist. I was finally admitted to one. I still go to her, like I said, every uh, like every two weeks I'm seeing her, it, whether it be something good or something bad. Um, so the first medication they try to put me on is called omeprazole, or um, generically is Prilosec. That didn't help at all. In fact, I think I was getting more attacks when I was taking it. I'm still taking it, actually. So then, um, my finals roll around uh, for 8th grade um, so I don't think I had a, I don't think I missed any days but um well actually I, I did miss a day what was I doing I missed the math one for oh pro, um, I had a um, I had a radiologist appointment that I had to drink barium sulfate uh, and they had to look at my because they were afraid I had SM. This is before I knew they knew I had Crohn's disease. They had to look at me to make sure I didn't have SMA, which is basically where your aorta blocks off blood supply from your small intestine, I, I believe. But like only 500 people in the entire world have ever had it. 
Um, so I didn't have that, but they just wanted to get that out of the way. Luckily, I didn't have it, because that would have meant I had to have, like, open stomach surgery. So, um, I, I, I was going for my makeups for math, and in the middle of it, I got an attack, and the, the, uh, the people that were there, the, uh, the teacher and the, the watcher, uh, the prost- uh, whoa, where am I going with this <laughs> This ends. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't talk. I'm so tired. The prospector, I believe that's what they're called. He was looking at me weird, and like he knew that something was wrong with me, and everyone else knew there was something wrong with me. And whoa, okay. And so you know, he asked what was wrong. I told him that I had some unknown gastrointestinal problem, and I was having a very bad attack. So they sent me out of the room. They basically said, "Well, you'll make up the map. The math." Uh, test another time so luckily I was able to take it without any problems uh, it was like a day, the day before school ended that was a real nice one that was nice um, so then um, about a, um, 10 or 15 days after that I had to go for a um, colonoscopy slash endoscopy a colonoscopy is basically where they look at your colon, and an endoscopy is where they take a, a bit of tissue from your stomach wall, I believe, and they examine it. And um, I'm still waiting for the biopsy results on that, because they have to review that at the end of, of August altogether. Like, these bunch of these doctors have to come look at it. Very weird. Um, so the prep for that was just catastrophic, because I don't think I mentioned this. Eating would always make it feel better. I don't, I don't know why, it's, that's the way it is, but every time I get an attack, if I eat, usually, I'll feel better. So I couldn't eat anything that day. I had to drink 10 capfuls of Miralax in Gatorade, which I absolutely despise. I hate Gatorade. <laughs> that was fun. And um, I, the only real thing that I could drink that was good was beef broth. And I drank a lot of that. Um, I also had to take four... Duclax tablets, which basically are diuretics. So I was just going all the time. Sorry if this is getting a little too graphic, but um, I have to say what needs to be said. Um, so after that, after the endoscopy, you know, the endoscopy slash colonoscopy, that was that was no really biggie. I mean, I was out, so <laughs> so July rolls around. July was probably my best month. I, I didn't have that many problems. Um, a, cu a couple attacks here and there, a couple bad days. But um, a couple days ago, I had to go. Actually, I think it was yesterday. I had to go back to the GI because I I was getting more attacks frequently, and they're um, they were trying to wean me off of uh, a steroid I'm taking called um, prednisone, and they're thinking that they were wean me off of that a bit too fast. And they're gonna try and fix it. I'm on. Uh, I'm back on what I used to be on 20 milligrams twice a day. So I haven't had any attacks since then. Um, so Crohn's disease is very life impacting. Luckily, it's not life threatening as long as I take care of my body. So uh, I hope this video wasn't too boring. I wasn't really doing much out of the maps. I was just doing nothing really. I mean, I was falling out a lot. I mean, I think I fall. Out Fall out right here? No? I don't know where the death barrier is. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you next time.